Now, the NVIDIA GTX, GTX, old card, 970 has 4 gigabytes of VRAM, but not anymore. Not if you mod it with 8 gigabytes. Now, of course, this is not a modification that most people would even attempt unless you had like a million of these kicking around. I suspect if you are a modder or if you work at a computer place where you're repairing this kind of stuff all the time, sure, you could give it a try if you have some spare time on your hands, you know, but still most of us would probably just go out and get another card, a card that actually has eight gigabytes of VRAM, but nonetheless, this is very interesting. So how did this modification go? Well, first of all, he needed to replace the 512 megabyte memory modules with one gigabyte versions. However, you just can't do that alone because if you do that alone and you don't change and tweak a resistor on the board, well, the card won't see the new memory that is added to the card. So he had to meticulously actually tweak that resistor for the card to recognize that it has, well, double the amount of VRAM. And a reminder, if you want to throw a thanks back at me, you can do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, though, and comment. Now, I wouldn't recommend if you're buying a new card these days, unless you get some kind of great deal on, let's say, I don't know, a 30 70 or a 20 80 even because people are looking for deals people are on a budget you know in today's economy and all but generally speaking i do not recommend eight gigabyte vram gaming cards they're not enough it's not going to future proof your purchase however in this case it's fine because it's an old old card and this is done more i guess to see if it can be done and in fact, if it performs better when all these modifications are done. So how did it perform with double the amount of VRAM? Well, using this superposition benchmark, the original score with four gigabytes was 866, but with the eight gigabytes of VRAM, it scored almost double 1,576. And get this, it edged out the GTX 1060. Now the 1060 has six gigabytes of VRAM. This is a prime example of why VRAM is very important. And while the more you have, the better performance overall you will get. Unless, of course, you use AI. And that's what NVIDIA is relying upon with their fake generation of video cards. I'm referring to the RTX 50 series all across the board, because when you see pictures online, right, of with and without AI, without this upscaling and all the other technologies that they have, you see without it, 40 frames per second, with it, 210 frames per second, but it's using AI. Now, some will argue that it's gotten so good that you won't notice the difference. Well, I do notice the difference, and that's why I never use upscaling in any of the games that I play. I would rather actually lower the eye candy in the game than use it myself, but that's me personally. And I understand it. if you want to get a newer video card that will be a 50 series and you're eyeing the... RTX 5060, please don't get the 8 gigabyte version of that. It's n You're going to spend a fair amount of money, even on the 5060. Just save up a little more, maybe. Think about a 5070, to be honest. But if you really are adamant about getting a 5060, get the 16 gigabyte version. But again, the whole 50 series NVIDIA has gone, you know, fake frames and all this AI stuff. And I really, really hope that the RTX 60 series video cards don't rely so heavily on AI, but I don't think that's going to be the case. It would seem that the future is AI, whether we like it or not. Is that a fake future? I don't know. I suppose visually, if we can't see the difference, who cares?